If you love me, I got a word for the both of us. I'll put you in the driver's seat. Don't gotta hurry in the name of love. When you ride with me. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine, also known as Jazzy Mina on YouTube, and welcome to another video. So, this is actually my second attempt trying to record this. Um, I actually had to do the base show and the base, so that nude base that you see on the um, stand is actually this one, which is called Romantic Lover. And the shade is 890 and it's part of the D&D Sheer collection. So that's on the base. And then I went over it with some Beatles top coat and I cured each one of these for 60 seconds. That is two layers of that sheer um, base coat and I cured it for 60 seconds in between each one of them. Now I'm going to be going in with the one of the green colors from the Beatles, a Beatles set. I can't remember which one because I don't have them in the set together anymore, uh, but I will list it in the description box of what set it actually is. Um, but this is like a lime green color. And as you can see, I'm really trying to get the product out because, you know, the bottles be so small. So there's really so much you can do with it. Oh, oh, Coda. Uh-uh. <laughs> Coda says hi. But anywho, like I was saying, this is my second attempt trying to record this video, y'all. Because my first phone decided they wanted to run out of storage. So I had to use another device to record this video. I'm um, sorry that we missed the beginning of it, but... Um, I'm sure the rest of this will be quite um, entertaining if I can stay in frame. I do want to give a quick disclaimer for most of this French tip part. I am not in frame. I, I apologize. I think at this point I was just over the fact that I had to re-record and change the device. And it was it just became overwhelming, I suppose. So I wasn't really paying attention to me being in frame like I probably should have so please forgive me for that so here in this part of the video I'm going in on each one of the nails and doing a French tip in the beginning I'm doing one layer of the lime green color and then I'm curing each one of the nails for 60 seconds and then I'm going to go in again and do a second coat over that because the pigment wasn't there for me um, so I needed to do two layers and I'm going to again cure it for 60 seconds. You guys are only going to see like a minute or two of this, but it, it, it took a while.
So here I'm going in with a top coat of the Beatles Top Coat Gel and I'm going to be curing this for 60 seconds. I'm doing this because in a moment we're going to go into some stamping to try to get to this design that's there. Honestly y'all this is a very random design. I just decided I love green. I love a good French chip and I want to try stamping. So this is literally how it happened. And in this set, I'm really just trying to practice my stamping. You'll see me get semi better, but like y'all, your girl need practice for real. But anywho, I am putting down this top coat so that when I do mess up, I can just easily clean away um any mistakes and then I can go ahead and continue stamping again without worrying about my base being messed up. So I'm going to put one layer and cure it for 60 seconds. Now we're on to the stamping part of the video. I'm going to be using my Queen Nail Stamping Polish. I actually bought this off of Amazon and I'll have it linked below. I'm going to be using this stamping plate that I bought from Dollar Tree. Um, it's really cute. Um, just abstract flowers. You see some like random abstract designs, some butterflies. It's it has just a bunch of pretty designs. And then I'm using my stamper that's in the middle. Also from Amazon, I'm going to link it below. And then the little plastic scraper that comes with them. Y'all, I'm not going to lie and say that this stamping was not hard. But some of them did turn out cute. And trust, y'all going to see which ones turned out cute. Now, for this, I'm just going in with any random um, design that I like on the palette. I did try to replicate some of the ones that I already have on the previous set. Uh, but honestly, I just went in and scraped whatever looked cute to me. And you're going to see me see that. Again, I'm not fully in the frame. I'm sorry. Uh, but in the end, you'll see me try to like show you guys me stamping it on the nail and the jelly part falls out of the stamper. I mean, yeah.
Okay, so here is the final uh, product from the Stampin', of course. Um, Y'all, I don't hate it. And I definitely see progress on my index finger. I see it semi on my middle finger. The ring finger look okay. And the pinky, the pinky was doing something for me. So it's not horrible. But I'm, I can definitely say that I'm getting better at stamping. Over the stamping, I'm going to actually add this green chrome powder. Uh, we've seen it. In my previous video, I believe, when we did the pink and chrome set. If you haven't seen that video yet, go ahead and check it out. I'm going to be going over each one of these um, stamps with the green powder. And honestly, y'all, I was a little scared. I was a little scared because I had to wipe a little harder with my alcohol and the lint, lint pad, which you guys will see in a second. Um... Y'all, I thought it was going to be stuck like this, but y'all going to see later that it actually turned out quite nice. To add a little pizzazz to the set, because I kind of feel like it was flat and it was lacking just a little bit, you know, just a little shine. I'm going to be using these small rhinestones that I have. I actually got these from AliExpress and I believe it's an SS3 or an SS4. I'm not 100% sure, but whichever one it is, I'll figure it out and I will put it down in the description below. So for these rhinestones, I really just put them in sporadic places that I thought maybe could look nice. Um, I had no kind of direction when I was doing this. I just put them in random places where I felt like it needed some feeling. Um, maybe I messed up in the spot, so I put it there. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's just in random places. I'm also using my McCart rhinestone glue to put it on there. Then I'm going to flash cure each one of the rhinestone nails for just a few seconds.
The final step for this set will be adding a final top coat. Um, for this final top coat, I'm going to be using my Cat Beauty Glossy Top Coat. I'm adding one layer of this top coat and then I'm going to cure the entire set for 120 seconds. So this is the final result of this set. Honestly, guys, I'm so honestly proud of this set. It seems like, just like with the Chrome set, I like the second one better. <gasps> and I'm liking it. I I'm loving it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate when you guys are watching my videos and commenting below. I love talking to you all. We're almost at the end of this press-on tutorial marathon. We have today, which is actually day six. And then tomorrow will be day seven. I love you all so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Uh -huh.